Anita White was born into the world of pre-war Eastern European jewelry. This was not the world of Tevye and Fiddler on the Roof. This was the cosmopolitan world of gymnasium and university, of science and literature, of music, art, and poetry in rich Yiddish, resurrected Hebrew as well as Polish, Russian, French, and German. This was a world before the war where a new Jew was already emerging. Anita's own father, Olav Shalom, peace be upon him, exemplified that new Jew. He was a scholar of both the sacred and the secular, and he was a Zioni, a Zionist. Jewish nationalism, dormant for so many centuries, began to germinate in the late 19th century and to blossom in the 20th. A better day for the Jewish people seemed to be on the horizon. Then came the darkest night in all of the human experience. Even the Jews, no strangers to the horrors of persecution, had never experienced the like. Like millions of our people, Anita and her parents were trapped in the indescribable nightmare of the Shoah, the Holocaust. Mishoalit Kuma, from out of the destruction of the Holocaust, the Jewish people rose like a phoenix from the ashes to be reborn as a sovereign nation on our ancestral land. The indomitable spirit of Klal Yisrael could not be drowned even in the blood of six million Kedoshim. Anita's life is very much a microcosm of the Jewish experience. In spite of the torment of the Shoah, Anita committed to life, rebuilding her own in America, never yielding to the brutality to which she was exposed. Anita built a Jewish home and a Jewish community here at Hillcrest Jewish Center in Queens. But one of her life's efforts has been to record the experiences of countless other survivors and to see those chronicles preserved for eternity. To p- paraphrase the Southern author William Faulkner, Anita, like the Jewish people, did not merely endure, she prevailed. It is because of people like Anita that the dream of a Jewish homeland became the reality that is Israel. While a handful of Jews struggled in a tiny land that was essentially all on the front lines, Anita and the Jews of the diaspora raised money, lobbied governments, petitioned, marched, and protested for the survival of our beloved motherland. This morning, when you consider not if, but how much of Israel's bond to buy, I ask you to think of a young Jewish girl in pre-war Poland who collected pennies in a pushka for the yeshuv in Palestine. I ask you to think of a survivor who never lost faith in her people and in our collective destiny. I ask you to think of a survivor nation living free again on our land. I ask you to defy all those who hate us, and would even in our own time see us annihilated. When you buy bonds, you proclaim, as Anita has done with her whole life, that Am Yisrael Chai, the Jewish people live. Yehi ratzom nilefanecha Adonai Eloheinu ve'elohe avoteinu. May it be your will, our God and God of our ancestors, that you bless our Anita with good health, that this event is blessed with record success, and that you Bless and protect the state of Israel now and forever. Amen.